Drishti IAS is pleased to revise its special program Mastering Mains Answer Writing, targeting answer writing in civil services and state services mains examination. We will be alternatively covering GS papers 1, 2 and 3 through this program. For GS 4, please watch our program Ethics, Definitions and Concepts. The link for it is mentioned in the description below. So what is the structure of the program? We begin by looking at a question, then narrow it down to the syllabus and assess the weightage of the topic. Then we learn on how to approach the question, structuring the answer and then write the actual answer. We finally conclude the episode by looking at questions asked in the previous year examinations. Let us look at the question which we will be discussing today. The Himalayas are more prone to landslides than in Western Ghats. Discuss its causes and how does it impact daily life. Also, suggest suitable measures of mitigation of landslides in the Himalayan region. The question can be narrowed down to important aspects of basics of geomorphology, geography that is part of GS Paper 1. The importance of the topic over the years can be assessed from the graph that has been displayed. Shifting towards how to approach the question. In general, there are two things we must understand with respect to a question. A. The underlying theme of the question and B. What is or are being asked about that theme. Now, let us look at the question again. The Himalayas are more prone to landslides than in Western Ghats. Discuss its causes and how does it impact daily life. Also, suggest suitable measures of mitigation of landslides in the Himalayan region. The underlying theme of this question is landslides in Himalayas. About this theme, we must discuss its causes, implications and suitable measures of mitigation of landslides. The command word of this question, discuss, requires us to find out the causes substantiated with relevant evidence, related consequences and the measures needed to resolve the given issue. Moving towards how to structure the answer. The first part of the answer will be the introduction of the answer, which will include a brief description on landslides and why the Himalayas are more prone to landslides than Western Ghats. The second part of the answer, that is the body, includes causes of landslides and impacts of landslides. Lastly, in our conclusion, we will suggest some measures of mitigation. Now, we try to write the actual answer. But before we commence, we would like to make it very clear that the answer provided here is a representative answer. That is how the actual answer may look like. It can be adapted or modified as per your own natural style of writing, whether paragraph form or short sentences or bullets or diagrams. We have also taken certain liberties with the word limit by including certain additional information in the answer for your comprehensive understanding. So without much ado, let us write. The question. Himalayas are more prone to landslides than in Western Ghats. Discuss its causes and how does it impact daily life. Also, such as suitable measures of mitigation of landslides in the Himalayan region. Landslides are the mass movement of soil or rocks along the slopes of mountains. Himalayas are the young fold mountains and are more prone to landslides than the Western Ghats because heavy snowfall in winter and melting in summer, this induces debris flow which is carried in large quantities by numerous streams and rivers. Himalayas are made of sedimentary rocks which can be easily eroded. These aids landslides, whereas Western Ghats are eroded, denuded, aged, mature and worn out by exogenic forces. Moreover, they are far less in height. Drifting of Indian plate causes frequent earthquakes and result in instability in the region. On the other side, Western Ghats are older block mountains which are more stable now. Man-made activities like grazing, construction, and cultivation abet soil erosion 
and risks of landslides while western ghats have lesser man-made interference lastly diurnal changes of temperature are much more in northern india than in southern slopes this weakens the rocks and aids mass wasting now let us focus on the causes of landslides in the himalayan region the causes of landslides in the himalayan region are as follows natural causes earthquakes in the himalayan region cause loosening of soils that further leads to landslides heavy rainfall in the himalayas also leads to soil erosion and landslide the himalayan mountains have steep and sharp slopes large portion of the himalayas is made up of sedimentary rock which is more fragile to landslides anthropogenic causes human excavation of slope and its toe a drawdown in reservoir mining irrigation vibration blast water leakage from services deforestation causes destabilization of the rocks and soil profile the shifting cultivation or jhum cultivation practiced in the himalayan region illegal mining in the region unscientific industrial expansion unscientific construction activities lack of understanding of landslide hazards lack of warning system implications of landslides every year landslides in the region kill dozens of people it causes widespread damage to several villages such that they have now become almost unfit for habitation they create blockages in the road network and river system which in turn causes floods the road network remains closed for long periods causing indescribable hardship to the villages who get their basic supplies and provisions from the neighboring areas the terraced farm fields have been destroyed that cannot be easily renovated or made productive again water sources are disrupted and choked by debris from landslides the river sediment load is increased considerably causing irregular courses and frequent breaching of the banks resulting in unexpected floods shifting to the last part of our answer the last part will include measures for mitigation of landslides in the region measures for mitigation of landslides in the region include hazard mapping it locates areas prone to slope failures this will help to avoid building settlements in such areas these maps will also serve as a tool for mitigation planning hydro geological methods lower the ground water level or to reduce the water content of the material land use practices such as areas covered by degraded natural vegetation in upper slopes are to be afforested with suitable species any developmental activity initiated in the area should be taken up only after a detailed study of the region has been carried out in the construction of roads irrigation canals etc proper care is to be taken to avoid blockage of natural drainage total avoidance of settlement in the risk zone should be made mandatory relocate settlements and infrastructure that fall in the possible path of the landslide no construction of buildings in areas beyond a certain degree of slope mechanical methods increase the shear strength of the unstable mass to counteract the destabilizing forces it can be done by introducing active or passive external forces example structural wells piles or reinforced ground etc sustainable tourism to avoid landslide mishaps strict implementation of laws to ban the illegal mining and quarrying operations in this region insurance will assist individuals whose homes are likely to be damaged by landslides or by any other natural hazards to conclude increasing human interference with nature has led to rise in the number of natural disasters the local population should be given education and awareness about the causes and impact of landslides it will not only mitigate the disaster of landslides in the region but also prepare a community based model to tackle the landslide disaster which was highly successful in the case of kerala floods now we look at the questions asked in the previous year examinations 
In 2019, the following question was asked. How can the mountain ecosystem be restored from the negative impact of development initiatives and tourism? In 2016, the following question was asked. The Himalayas are highly prone to landslides. Discuss the causes and suggest suitable measures of mitigation. In 2014, the following question was asked. Why are the world's four mountain systems located along the margins of continents? Bring out the association between the global distribution of four mountains and the earthquakes and volcanoes. In 2013, the following question was asked. Bring out the causes for more frequent landslides in the Himalayas than in the Western Ghats. With this, we conclude today's episode of Mastering Mains Answer Writing. Until next time, stay safe and thank you. To watch our videos in Hindi, subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel, Drishti IAS.